Hello all and welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's Rooftop Toyota Cow Caravan of Treasure and sometimes barter. The street continues as it always will. And we are taking a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Joe Fixit Hulk figure. Um, yeah, an interesting one to kind of have. I've never been the biggest fan of the Joe Fixit version of Hulk. I love Peter David's Hulk run, but was never really big on the Joe Fixit thing. So it is what it is. There's the back of the box. He's got a big toothy grin one. Looks like we've got the hat, Tommy gun, some pretty cool stuff. Anyways, I decided to get it, though. Um, uh, I kind of shot myself in the foot with this one, actually. Um, I wasn't going to get it, like I said. Not really the biggest Joe Fixit fan. Love Peter David's run, but not the biggest Joe Fixit fan. Um, and wasn't really planning on getting it. Then I uh, met up and hung out with a buddy of mine who had this figure, and I saw it in person, and I was like, oh, damn. And yeah, seeing it in person, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Even if I'm not the biggest fan, it's an iconic fixture of Hulk's personalities. Um, so, eh. big box. It's big. It's beefy. It was Walmart exclusive. Uh, in my video, the box came all dinged. So, yeah. Let's get them open. I'm dilly-dallying here. Uh, okay. Of course, we got that windowless packaging, the cardboard packaging, so figures all wrapped up in some cardboard. Let's see what we got. I think that's the alternate head and or hat. Might be both. Oh, okay, I was wrong, so yeah. there's tape all up in here. Okay. Got that on. Alright. Uh, that one. Yeah, there's one more, but. Okay. Got that one. Uh, cool. Apologies for the dead silence there. It was, it's a big box to get everything out. Um, anyway. Yeah, so we got the Joe Fix It Hulk. Um, let's see what we got here. So I was wrong. Um, oh, fan knocked the thing over. Um, we've got the hat. It's a little curved. Whoa. Oh, that's flying off. Uh, I thought the hat was a separate piece. I don't know why. Um, sorry for the autofocus there. I thought this hat was going to be one, like a separate piece, an accessory. It is not. Uh, I'm kind of surprised, but oh well. Um, but those are the alternate hands again. So let's get them out here. No. Oh wow, okay. That was unexpected. The Tommy gun is a separate piece. That is interesting. I think it's gonna go in. Uh It looks like there's a peg for it to go on right there, like a little whatever, but I'm having a struggle here. Oh, I see. Oh man, that was rough. So that's a separate piece, but it plugs in. I like that they actually kind of gave it a little bit of a metallic sheen. It's not just gray. Um, and the wood is actually kind of engraved, so that's pretty cool. Um, Right here we got, looks like we got some alternate hands. Not bad, just some close fisted hands. Which means the figure, oh man, they keep, I keep forgetting to throw the plastic for it. Which means the figure should be the big toothy grin. And there you go, it is. He's pinless, pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna guess he stands well if I fix this foot. Yep, there you go. He's big, he's beefy, he's Hulk. I, uh, I'm not the biggest fin fan of this big toothy grin kind of thing, so I'm gonna switch the head. Nice. I definitely love the hat way more. I like it though. It's a really cool kind of deep blue. Um, uh, like if you took a navy and mixed it with some purple, he's got a purple handkerchief, black tie, white um, 
shirt underneath, white headband on the hat. I do wish we kind of had the red tie, I'm not going to lie. I know he wears different ties and different suits, but I think this is probably the closest you're going to get to a more comic accurate one. Maybe minus red tie, just depends on who the artist was. Um, but yeah, he looks cool. For a character I'm not the biggest fan of, it's not a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah, uh, let's see if we can get a couple of cool poses out of here. Um... Uh, yes, this way. Come on. Sorry, I was like actually into that for a moment. So there you go. With the Tommy gun, he looks pretty cool. I like it. I think it's a really good figure. Um, if you've never actually read any of the Joe Fixit stuff, uh, if you're a diehard Hulk, this, uh, this is going to be my little last little couple minutes of a soapbox on some Hulk stuff. I'm a Hulk fan. Hulk was one of the first characters I really liked. It was like the X-Men, and then Hulk was like right behind that. Um, but I love Peter David's run. Peter David had a massive 12-year like run on Hulk. It was crazy, like hundreds of issues. Um, and... He really fleshed out a lot of the old Bill Mantlo stuff. Um, Bill would always write, try to write from the perspective of Banner's mind. Like, what is this? Why is it? You know? And went a little deep with stories like Crossroads and stuff. Um, Peter David took that to another level. Uh, I'm not going to say it's better than Bill Mantlo stuff. I actually kind of prefer Bill Mantlo. Very, it's like the difference between a 9.5 and, and a perfect 10. Um, but David took a lot of that and, you know kind of explored more of the psyche of Banner, which I always enjoyed. So he had alternate personalities. There's this side of Banner that wishes he could be a bad guy, wishes he could be badass and cool and all that, and that's the Joe Fixit thing. That's why he's this way. Then you have the Savage Hulk, which is the Green Hulk. But um, basically, Gray Hulk was commandeered into Joe Fixit. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, but it's basically Banner's dark side. It's more, you know, you always kind of hear about uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde aspect of Banner and Hulk. This is actually probably more his Dr. Hyde. Um, or, uh, Dr. Wow. Mr. Hyde. I just completely butchered that name. Um, but it's a really good figure. I do like it. If you've never read Peter David's run, go out, read it. Uh, it's a long list of books to kind of get into and carry over, but it's worth it if you can find a proper, like, reading list order or something, you know, and then get the trades in order. Um, but it's massive, so just be prepared. It was like a 12-year run. Uh, but yeah, I like the figure. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of the character, I do think it's an iconic look for Hulk, and I like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up.